Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMamoth.com, and this is Mathy, my mascot and assistant. In this lesson we're gonna study how to add and subtract decimals in columns. And adding or subtracting decimals in columns is very easy. You subtract or add the same way as usual, just lining up your decimal points. So for example here, 12.8 plus 5.65. I have already lined up the numbers. Now there's nothing here, so I can add a zero there, okay, to make adding easier. And I'll just add zero plus five here is five. And then here in the tenths place, eight plus six is 14, and I carry over here. Then one plus two plus five is eight, and then one. And lastly, you just add the decimal point right there where it is. Subtraction works the same way. Again, I can add a zero here so that it is easier to subtract. 2 minus 0 is 2, and that is in the hundredths column. And then this column would be the tenths column. 7 minus 9 I cannot do, so I will regroup. I will leave 5 here, and then over here I will have 17 tenths, and now I can subtract 8 tenths. Then the decimal point will be here. 5 minus 8, I cannot subtract that either, but I can think of it as 15 minus 8 is 7 in the whole numbers. Now these next two problems are basically just exercises to practice lining up your numbers. Okay, I have some here to add 32 plus 1.58. Now where does the 1 go and 5 and 8 under the 32, you see? 1 goes in the 1's column here. And then comes the point and 5, 8. See? 16.2 is easy now. 16 here, point and 2. 32 doesn't have any decimal digits, so we can now add the zeros there. Add a zero here too. And then add 8 and 7. And here we have 9 and 4. Very easy. Subtraction, the same happens. I'll write 60 here. But where does the 24.89 go? See, 24 has to go under the 60 and then the point 89. And so for 60 we will add now the decimal point and zeros. And now it's all set up. Now this is one of those borrowing or regrouping problems where you cannot subtract anything until you regroup or borrow. Okay, I take 1, 10, leaving 5 here and 10 here. From 10 I take 1, it becomes 10 tenths here. Then again I take a tenth and it becomes 10 hundredths here. Just as if you didn't have any decimal points. The borrowing or regrouping works exactly the same way. And now you subtract. Okay, these are gone. 10 minus 9 is 1. 9 minus 8, 1. 9 minus 4, 5. And 5 minus 2, 3. And you could check this by adding. Okay. Put the decimal points into this to make it true. It says 27 plus 207 plus 27 is 31.77. So, okay, obviously this one here cannot be 207, because our sum here is only 31 something. This has to be either 2 point something or 20.7. So let me check first if it could be 20.7. If this is 20.7, then... This cannot be 27, it would be too much. This cannot be 27 either. So this could be 2.7s. But that's not going to be enough. You know, 20.7 and then 2.7, 2.7 would be just 25, 26 something. That's not going to be enough. So this won't work. Let me try it. If I put this to be 2.07, and this would be, or this, either way. Let's say this is 27, and we add 2 to it, we get 29. 29 and 7 hundredths, and then two more. That sounds pretty good. 29 plus 2 is 31, and 7 tenths. Yep, yeah, that matches. It's sort. 